kill that's yourself what I saw in the lyric you did with Jonathan Miller. I saw a clarity and a cleanness yeah. of language that in one sense seemed sparse, but in another sense was totally full. Mm -hmm. uh, I found it totally exciting. Well, it takes a long time to get that. It, to, it takes a long, many, many years before you can really stand absolutely still on the stage and say something so simply that you don't have to work at it or imbue it with, a, with an emotion that you think it needs because it doesn't need that emotion. It has given it to you the way it's written. Just say the words, baby, and shut up and go home. <laughs> and it takes a hell of a long time to, to learn to be able to do that. And I think I did achieve it in King Lear. And, and I think um, I give Jonathan Miller most of the credit for that because he was always after me to do that. He was always bringing it down. Now, a lot of people, some of the New York critics thought that he demeaned a part of King Lear by bringing it down. They don't understand that, um, that you can be noble and small at the same time. I don't know where this idea of the nobility of Lear ever happened. He's certainly not a noble man at all. He's an absolute bastard yeah. and really a, a peasant king. What is, this, what is this nobility that everybody thinks is there? The same way they treat Cleopatra. They think Cleopatra is, oh, oh but she, she was wonderful, of course, but she lacked majesty. <laughs> you know, Where, how, Who the hell are they to know if Cleopatra had any majesty at all? She was a friggin', well, she wasn't a Montenegrin, she was a, where did she come from? Macedonia. Macedonia. Yes, and she probably was an exotic, peasant creature yeah. Yeah. and behaved like one. Yeah. I mean, she did walk down the, her highly polished tile floors so that she could, and wore no pants so she could see and count the length of her pubic hair. She fascinated her this to see true? them reflected. I suppose, yes, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you were oh, there? I was there underneath. <laughs> 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 I was there with those critics, but weren't So <laughs> she could watch her reflection yes, without pants. she was, yes. On the, ref on the I length that of her pubic hair. Yes, because she grew them to an inordinately long length, so I'm told, by one of her handmaidens that I had a long affair with once. I see. <coughs> and how long but were they? All I'm saying is, <laughs> who are these guys to call, yeah. who insist on a majesty that they know nothing? First of all, they probably don't know how majesty behaves in life. They haven't met too many. And uh, same thing with Lear. They thought, I, I agree, you see, he charted me medically too because Jonathan, apart from being an anthropologist and a genius, I think I can really call him a genius. There's no question he is of that mold. And, uh, and a medical, he's not, he, he was a surgeon. He charted my performance medically. There's no reason why on earth uh, he shouldn't talk like that when he comes back from, from he's had a minor stroke, for Christ's sake. Anybody who's been thrown onto that heath naked or right. to the winds for so long, having not seen the outdoors for some time in that fashion, is going to come away with something wrong with him, and a stroke is quite obvious. Yeah. Um, he goes, the whole mad scene is, 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 a, is a scene of someone who's had a stroke. Uh, and so when he comes back on at the end, after an inordinately long wait, which I can't bear, <laughs> which I spoke of the other night, where you have to sit through the tragedies of Gloucester and Edmund <laughs> till the hour of midnight arrives, and then, oh my God, I'm on. King Lear again, and, they said, and the audience says, oh, who the hell's that? He, he looks familiar. <laughs> we oh, he's we the guy saw him the earlier, <laughs> yes. We saw him earlier. Um, but then, there is of course, something, he gets smaller and smaller. There is something he under here that you're talking about, though. Uh, you've talked about two things. You've talked about the, not the bravura of the words, but the power of the words and just sitting in the words and speaking them yes. and having it appear. And with Jonathan Miller and Lear, you're also talking about the absolute 
accuracy of observation yes. than an actor or a director does. Yes, and it's strange that Jonathan, of all people, who really does look in life like um, the Anglo-Saxon messenger from Alice Through the Looking Glass, is would be able to be so human when he brings out uh, the humanity in people like Lear, which he did beautifully. Because I, I remember I, that when I saw I'm, it, yeah. I was yeah. gobsmacked by watching yeah. the disintegration when you come out talking like yeah. that. And it threw a light onto Lear that I yeah. never thought, never experienced before. Well, Ben, the New York Times said the same thing. They got it. They got the fact that it was a disintegration and it was pathetic and moving and human. Jonathan said, you know, it's one of the funniest plays ever written, Lear. He said, I know you're dying to do a comedy. Well, let's do Lear, he said. And it is a very funny play. It has some very funny lines in it. For example? Well, for example, after that long, wonderful speech about when he's denied his nights by his daughters, he's denied, we don't want 100 nights. What about 75? Oh, no, what about 25? Yeah, and wh wh what do you need 25 for? What about five? <laughs> Nay, what the hell with five? What about one? And he goes ape. And he does that wonderful speech about all oh, reason, not the need. And, uh, and I can't remember it. And, and he ends up with that, oh, fool, I shall go mad, you know, I, and rushes out into the storm. And there's a long pause. And Regan says, looking about her, as if he didn't, had not understood what they were talking about at all, says, but this house is little. And it brings, it should bring down the house. The what do you mean, it's literally, you mean black humor or? Yes, yes, it's wonderfully black. 